Hey guys, and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through an Anaconda tutorial. So explaining and walking you through how Anaconda works, why it works, what commands we can use, how to create new environments, how to use those environments, and how to manage them. Now this is a very important skill. Um, if you're working in a large project or you, multiple projects uh, on your computer, you're going to want to use something called virtual environments. Now whether you use Anaconda to do that or just like the built-in virtual environment is up to you. But Anaconda is a great choice. A lot of people end up using it just because they see it in like a tutorial video. But essentially, it's a great way to manage your Python packages and uh, have different Python versions running on your machine at once. So obviously, the first step is going to be to download and install Anaconda. So once we've done that, um, this is just the website, by the way, I'll leave the link in the description. You can download it. Just make sure when you're downloading it, if you don't already have it installed, is you check the little box that says add Conda to path. Now this is important because we want to make sure that we're going to be able to use the commands in our command prompt. Now for some reason, uh, what I'm about to do doesn't work for you. Just let me know in the comments. I'll try to help you out. Okay. So if I go to CMD, it's going to be our next step here. And I guess I can close this actually. Uh, what we're going to start first start by typing is conda. Okay. Assuming you have everything installed. Now, if this shows up, you get some nice text, then uh, you're good. You're ready to go. If this doesn't show up, Try to reinstall Anaconda and do the checkbox that says, uh, what do you call it, add Conda to path. Now, if you already have virtual environments, I will warn you that it may override those environments, um, but you do want to find a way to get Conda to your path so you're able to do what I'm going to do now. Otherwise, you're going to have to use the uh, Conda, what do you call it? There should be like an Anaconda thing, Anaconda Navigator. You're going to have to use this app, and if you use that, you could probably figure out what to do. Okay, I might go through it later. Now, essentially, what we're going to want to start off by doing is create a new virtual environment. So to do this, we're going to do conda create hyphen n, then the name of our environment. In this case, I'm just going to call mine test. And then you're going to do your Python version. So in this case, I'm going to say Python equals and then whatever version I want. So let's go three, six. OK, so uh, again, conda create hyphen n, the name and then whatever version you want. Now, already, you can hopefully see the advantage of conda. We're allowed to have Python versions that aren't the current version. So if you go to the Python website, yes, you can download other versions, but having multiple of them on your machine will allow you, or like you will run into errors doing that. So essentially doing this, uh, you can choose the Python version you're gonna use, it'll store it all nicely and you won't run into any errors. So we're gonna use 3.6, I'll hit enter. Uh, enter, I don't know why this isn't working. Okay, there we go. So now it's gonna solve and set up the environment. Now, uh, I'll wait for this to be done. And I'll be right back. Okay, so the condo environment is set up now. It's ready to go. We called ours test. Now the next step, and it's actually telling us what to do here, is to activate the environment. So it says to activate this environment, use activate test. So let's do that. Activate test. Now when we do that, you should see um, that you get these little brackets, and it says the name of your environment, and then that your command line is after that. Now if this is working, you've done everything successful. Good job. Uh, we're ready to go. So essentially what we're doing now is we're in our virtual environment, which means whatever we do in here will only be applied to our virtual environment, which is really nice because it means we can install packages that won't affect other things on our machine. It'll only affect this virtual environment. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install package. So let's say pip install. Um, hmm, what's an interesting package? I want to use this one for an example, PyMongo. Okay, so I'm going to install PyMongo. Uh, we'll wait for this to run and install and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that actually installed way faster than I assumed. Uh, but anyways, we're in. So now this is where you'd want to install all of the packages you're gonna need to use for your project. So what you can do uh, is, well, obviously just keep typing pip install and then the name of all the packages. Say you want NumPy, say you want um, Discord, I don't know, whatever you want, this is where you're gonna install it. Now just notice if for some reason, let's say you close this command prompt, all right? Uh, and you want to install more packages or so later on you realize you need another package You don't want to create a new environment. You want to install it into one you already have What you can do is run the command prompt Okay, I'll drag that back to the center You can type activate and then you can activate your environment again So in this case we'll activate test and this is just to show you that you don't have to do that directly after in uh, Creating the environment you can do it at any time that you want Okay, so we've got test now if we want to see all the packages in our environment we can do conda list and this will go through and it shows you all your packages. So you have pip, pymongo, python, whatnot. And then if you want to remove a package, I believe you can just do conda remove and then just name the package. Um, that should hopefully work. Let's see what it says for conda remove. Uh, okay, 
I don't know. That, that's probably how you do it. You guys can ask me if you're trying to do that. Anyways, uh, so now let's go to actually how to actually use this environment. So I just want to show you an example here. Say you have like IDLE installed and most people do. They have this installed on their machine. This is the first version of Python you installed. And after you installed this, you installed Anaconda. Okay. Now notice like you've just installed PyMongo right into this virtual environment. But watch what happens if I try to import PyMongo here. No module named PyMongo. But what we have PyMongo here. Why is it not working? Now the issue is this is a different version of Python than the one you've just created. And this is your base Python installation. Um, and you haven't installed PyMongo into that virtual environment. You've only installed it into this one. So how can we actually run our Python script? Maybe we're writing it using IDLE. We did a new file, we wrote all our code. And now when we hit F5, it's not working. We can't install our packages. Well, the way to actually run your Python script is from the command line. Now it may seem kind of difficult or annoying to do this, uh, but if you're not using like an, uh, an IDE, this is the way you pretty well have to do it. So let's say on my desktop here, I have this queue based algorithm. Okay. That, that will run that script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change directory to my desktop. So I'll say CD uh, desktop. And now I'm in my virtual environment still it still says test and I'm on my desktop. Now what I'm going to do if I want to run a Python script is all I have to do is Python and then the name of the script. So in this case, mine is called Q based algorithm. So uh, just a shortcut here, by the way, if you don't realize what I'm doing is I'm just typing the first few letters and then hitting tab and it's automatically generating the next line for me. So I'll hit, I'll do Python Q based algorithm dot pi hit enter. And then you can see it actually prints out um, the, what do you call it? The result of that for me. And it runs that script for me. Now, if you're running like a graphical user interface, like a game, it would load up the game for you. And this is how you can run things with your virtual environment. So I'll do like a quick test for you just to prove that this really does work. So I go file, new file, and we'll just say import pi mongo. Okay. Let's save that as just Dell on my desktop and watch what happens when I hit F5, no module named pi mongo, right? Because we're using 3.7.1. But now, so this is the file, Dell should be on my desktop, it's right here. I'm on my desktop, watch what happens when I'm in my virtual environment, I run it. So Python, uh, if I clicked on that properly, Python Dell.py. You see, no errors, everything is fine because we have PyMongo installed in this virtual environment and that's the Python we're using to run Dell. So that is essentially how that works. Now, if you wanna see a list of all of your different environments, what you can do is conda list env i believe uh con i think it's like this conda env list let's see that and there we go so that lists all of the environments for you so you can see i have my base environment discord new web and you can go through and see all them tensor tensorflow obviously this one which is the one we're currently in why it does a star now i just want to show you quickly you can deactivate your environment by typing deactivate obviously uh, it'll bring you back to the last environment you were in in this case we're in actually what's known as the conda base environment and if we try to install something in here so like pip install and then you do something here what's going to happen is we're going to actually install it into the base conda environment now that's fine but that means when you want to run something uh you just type python like without activating environment, or you can type activate just to activate Conda. So you'll see this actually in a second. So if I type activate, you see it brings me to this base environment. And then what I can do is I can do Python and like Dell.py. But notice that when I do that, um, oh, that's actually working for some reason in my base environment. Anyways, um, that is essentially how that works. So you have a base environment, you can install packages in there as well. But typically, it's a good idea to install them inside of uh, like their own environment and use them for different reasons, right? So for different projects, you have different environments, you use those environments. Uh, so last thing, if you want to delete an environment, so let's say we want to get rid of this one, it's pretty easy to do this, you can just do conda remove env hyphen n, and then the name of your environment, which is test. So conda remove environment n standing for the name test watch what happens when I hit enter. You can see it goes, it's going to solve the environment. Following packages are missing. Conda remove. Hmm. Conda env remove, I believe is what it is. My bad guys. So conda env remove hyphen n test. Let's run that. Uh, and there you go. It says these are going to be removed. Hit yes. And you can see it removes it from our system. And that is essentially how you use Anaconda, how you set up virtual environments. And that's probably the reason why if you guys have been using it and then trying to do stuff here, it's not working. 
Um, if you want to run something, you have to do it from the command line or set up this as an interpreter for your project, which you can do using like PyCharm and Jupyter Notebox and whatnot. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you again in another one.